Welcome to a quick tour for users new to UI4. This short demonstration will highlight some of the key features in Colleague UI 4.3. When you first launch Colleague, no forms or people are selected yet, so your work area is initially blank. Use the Search field to select a form or person to work with. To open a form, click to make sure the form icon is displayed and type the form's mnemonic. This feature works like the Quick Access field in older versions of Colleague. When you enter a correct mnemonic, the form opens right away. If you don't know the mnemonic for a form, you can use the Form Search feature to find the one you want. Simply type a word from the form's title in the search box, like address, and Colleague displays a list of available forms with that word in the title. Select the form you want from the list. You can use your own search history to quickly go back to forms that you've used before. Click on Edit Search History to remove items that you don't want to see in the list. You can also use the search feature to find a person before you open a form. This feature gives you more flexibility in your daily workflow. To search for a person, select the Person button and then type the person's name in the search box. You can also use the same person lookup options that were available in prior versions of Colleague. In addition, Colleague has an advanced person search option to help you get more specific search results. You can also open a shared list of people using an advanced search. The person search results allows your institution to incorporate photographs, which is a great way to get to know your students better or verify a person's identity. Select one or more people to work with and click to open the selected records. There are two views of search results, card view and grid view. Click on the view buttons to switch between them. Note that you can sort on a column when you're using grid view. Let's look at person cards. When you select and open person records from the person search results panel, the selected records are loaded into person cards. The person card provides some helpful features. It shows a photo of the person, and it also lets you keep the same person in focus or in context while you open and close various forms. Keeping the same person in context streamlines your work because you can skip the step of looking the person up each time you switch to a new form. The person card also lets you work with multiple people easily. You can select a stack or a list of person cards and switch between them as you work. In this example, five people have been selected, but only the top card, with Alexia's information, will display in the colleague form below. Use the Previous and Next buttons to move to the person you want to work with, or click the View All button to spread out the cards and see several at one time. A new feature with UI 4.3 is that you can now choose whether you'd like to keep a person in context or have them close automatically when you save or leave a form. Use the Auto Close Context feature to tell Colleague that you'd like to keep your people in context or to Auto Close. You can change the setting at any time depending on the kind of work you're doing, and Colleague will remember the setting on your computer until you change it. When you have finished working with a person, you can also use the Close button to close that person's card. Here you see you can close everyone in context or just the currently active person. Now let's take a look at the tabs at the top. The Favorites feature lets you save and quickly access the forms and people that you work with the most. Whenever you see the star icon, you can click it to save the current form or the person in your own Favorites list. Just like in previous versions of Colleague, you can click on a form in your Favorites list to open it. In addition to forms, you can also add people to your favorites list and organize them in folders. From your list of favorite people, you can select one person, multiple people, or an entire folder of people to work with. From your favorites, you can even select a person and a person-related form at the same time. When you click Open, Colleague brings up the form with the person's information loaded in. The Navigation tab shows the same menu options that displayed in a different format in previous versions of Colleague. This lets you see all the information or forms that you have access to. Let's look at working with Colleague forms. By default, 
forms automatically resize if necessary to fit in the default window size so that you can see the entire form and minimize scrolling. You can use the slider to resize any form you're looking at to make the information smaller or larger if you need it. If you resize a particular form, Colleague remembers the next time that you open that form. Go to the Options menu to set the scale for all of your forms at once. When you are working in forms, you will also notice that the resolution lists for Lookups and Colleague show in the Search Results tab. Remember that you can sort on a column when you are in Grid View. In UI 4.3, Information in search results can be exported to a spreadsheet depending on your security settings. Just click on the Export button at the bottom of the panel. Information that is displayed in a table can also be exported to a spreadsheet if needed. Again, depending on your security settings. This option is available whenever you see the Export button. Colleague offers a Form Print button so that you can easily print the current form along with the related context card information. Give it a try! New in UI 4.3, when you need to run a colleague report, you can now save your full report as a PDF file for viewing and printing. If you haven't used UI 4 before, you'll notice that a few of colleagues' function keys have been redefined so that they work with our supported internet browsers. Take a look at the shortcut key Help for more information about those. Once you start using Colleague, you may want to change your personal preferences. Access these from the Options menu. The Logout button in the top right allows you to easily close out of Colleague with one click. Now you're ready to get started working in the new Colleague user interface. There are many more great features that you'll discover on your own as you work with it. Remember when you see the question mark icon, you can click on it to get help about a specific feature. If you need more information, Datatel also provides documentation and training resources, including recorded online webinars. The Guide to User Interfaces manual provides full details on how to use all of the features. Thanks for taking this quick tour. We hope that you enjoy all the new features of Colleague.